What's up guys, welcome back. So, I'm on the road this week. And, unlike normally, I'm not in my truck. I actually flew up here. So, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of what I call my flight case. Basically the toolbox that I use when I have to go out of town and fly to it someplace. So, let's get right into it. So, first off, when I flew up here, I was gonna be up here for seven nights. So I had a full suitcase, plus, had to throw in steel toe boots. I don't like traipsing through the airport in those. And I ran out of room in my toolbox, so I had to stuff a bunch of stuff into my suitcase. So I ended up with a 49 and a half pound toolbox and a 50 pound on the dot suitcase. A lot of stuff this time. Normally I'm around, you know, 48 pounds on the tool case and usually like. 25 to 30 on the suitcase so this one's a bigger job though so a lot more to bring along so I had bags and bags full of extra parts that I bring along the little hardware and stuff unfortunately I didn't get it out in time with the weather to get it shipped up here so I had to bring it with me in the suitcase I also had to put in the M12 charger uh, since I do carry the Milwaukee M12 line with me when I fly. And in my carry-on bag is my bag of batteries because you can't check any lithium-ion batteries anymore. So I carry about, in this particular case, six of the M12 batteries with me, so I got plenty of them along. All right, so let's get right into it. So Pelican 1510 case. This has been with me for eight years now. Yeah, be eight years, uh, like April. And never had a single problem with it. TSA did break one latch on it. Uh, that was like a $5 fix, which I shouldn't have had to pay for, but because I needed it quick, because I was getting ready to fly back out, I had to order it. No big deal. Otherwise, Pelican's got a lifetime warranty on it. So, here's what we got. All right, so we'll stop up at the top. So I do have this little mesh back thing here. Uh, it's got some pockets in it, so I'm not going to go through everything because I'm just going to kind of make this kind of quick. But this one here, this has just got kind of some random stuff in it. I've actually got one of the little lighter torches, some blue Loctite, radio removal keys, um, some spare uh, Phillips tips, uh, nut drivers, things like that. Um, here's my fluke meter and leads. Over here, I've got a little M12 light, um, a small level. Um, over here, I've got a small flashlight, a little pocket knife, some extra razor blades, some spare drill bits. Um, over here, this is like hole saws, unibits, um, more drill bits, just random stuff. Okay, bag of zip ties I had to bring along. Um, more spare parts. I was cramming stuff wherever I could fit it for this trip. Bag of rubber gloves. Um, this particular one, we weren't quite sure, so I did have to bring my RF crimpers and prep tools. Okay. Um, new hull saw. Um, I always uh, keep a fresh one in here. Um, I probably do actually have one that's already open, but got an extra one just in case extra quarter inch drill bit because we drill a lot of aluminum on these brackets and choose through those drill bits real quick. Okay, so this particular time around, M12 half inch stubby, quarter inch hex bit driver or impact driver, and the M12 half inch hammer drill. Uh, all these work great. Um, if I need something bigger, I can go out and rent it. So it, it, it's really not that bad to have to fly a lot of times. A um, couple rolls of electrical tape. All right, we'll get to the base here in just a second. So I'm doing some antenna removal. So I've got my small little sledgehammer because the brackets usually rest to the roofs. Um, pry bar, same thing. Get the antennas off the roof. Um, Triplet bit kit. Uh, this has got 
little extension, and then uh, what, three, one, two, four, six, eight, and about 30 bits or so went. Um, you know, hex, Phillips, flat, Torx, so a little bit of everything. Uh, it's a great little kit. I don't even remember where I got it from, but it works good. Um, Milwaukee bit kit. Um, this has got, you know, just some random stuff in it. Um, mainly use it to carry my uh, longer, like, Phillips tips and the magnetic nut setters. Um, it's also got some longer, like, Torx and uh, some square drives and just some random bits in it. This is some little drill bits, a couple Milwaukee step bits, and um, just some black oxide drill bits in the smaller sizes. I, I don't use the uh, drill bits. In fact, I don't think I've ever used any of them in there, but the step bits get used quite often. Okay, so now on to what's in the bag. So, these, I think they call them document pouches, and I've been using these for even longer than I've had this tool case. And I, I love them. They're canvas bags. They've got good heavy-duty zippers. Um, Milwaukee makes some. Well, Milwaukee brands some. Um, Home Depot Husky used to have some. I think uh, Lowe's carries some. You know, they're out there. They're not that expensive. Usually you get them in like a three-pack. So, red band. That one is my cutters and random stuff. So, picks, crimpers... Uh, strippers, bit extension, uh, another set of crimper strippers, the PWCS7s, um, Milwaukee Utility Knife, uh, old cobalt uh, quarter inch bit driver screwdriver um, handle. I love this. I use these for um, specialty uh, bits for the camera, uh, driver safety cameras when I used to do those. Um, also, I've got like some really small torques that go with some of the other cameras and stuff out there. Um, big cable cutters, loppers as I call them. Uh, just a little flat blade scraper. Um, some of the Milwaukee uh, channel lock styles. Um, I, I'm actually not a big fan of these uh, just because of the handles on them. Um, I, I tend to find I like to pinch my skin on that. Um, on the bare ends, and I don't quite care for those, nor do I care for the heads on them, but um, I, I don't remember where I got these, but they just stay in this bag because they don't get used that often. A um, couple little specialty tools. Uh, flush cuts. I was actually looking for those today and missed them in here. And uh, then I've just got some random drill bits in there, a little stubby Phillips. So that's the kind of general tool pouch. This stuff back in, and then we've got this guy right here. This is all my sockets and wrenches that I carry with me. So, um, gear wrench on the sockets. Uh, they're all deep wells. Um, this is actually out of one of the quarter inch master sets that has the uh, metric and standard, deep and shallow. Um, I love the gear wrench sockets, never found anything wrong with them. Um, I use the, I don't think Col or Lowe's Cobalt carries them anymore, but the aluminum socket rails, um, pretty much they're the same as the uh, Olsa ones that are out there. Um, I, I've always had really good luck with them, I like the little kind of ball detent on them, and some of the sockets have fallen off in the bag. Um, quarter inch uh, gear wrench ratchet, uh, I've got some ratcheting wrenches, some certain sizes, just the ones that I know. Um, same thing, I've got some 3 8 drive stuff, um, same deal. I, I just carry the sizes that I know I need uh, to keep my bag weight down. One inch, uh, uh, this is actually a snap-on impact socket, um, half inch drive, that's what the impact's for. Um, that goes along with a knockout punch um, on the stuff I'm working on. We put in a big self-sealing um, grommet, I guess you'd call it. We call it a NEMA gland. And uh, we have to put in a 40 millimeter hole in that. Well, it's kind of hard to find 40 millimeter uh, um, 
pull saws. Plus, they tend to wear out pretty quick. So I carry this, drill a 7 8 hole, stick it through there, use the impact in the socket, pops it right out, makes a nice clean hole. Quick, fast, don't have to worry about chewing up bits. Um, got a couple of little spinners, um, extensions, more ratcheting wrenches, and then you know, like some little power drivers, the bit adapters to use with the quarter inch hex. And that's about it. You know, other things, I mean, this toolkit does change around depending on what type of job I'm going on, you know, how long I'm going away for, and, you know, what I'm going to be installing. So, you know, the basics that I just pulled out is what pretty much lives in this kit. And this kit is just strictly for flying. So, I don't, you know, when I'm not flying, everything just stays in this toolbox and just stays in the garage. So I don't have to pull anything out of here, you know, in between to use in the truck. And I like to keep it that way. Um, the only thing that currently is in this kit that came out of the truck is the RF crimpers because normally I don't have to take those with me. But weird situation popped up, so I got told to make sure I had them along. Turns out I don't need them. But that's the quick toolbox tour of my flight case. Hope you liked it. Um, drop a comment down below if you fly with tools. I'd love to hear how you do it and what you take along. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.